Um, so I only have five minutes and I wish I had this piece memorized tightly enough to where I could keep it within five minutes, but I want to spare you another round of awkward like dancing. Thank so you, I appreciate she it. She does a lot of that every time we do this. <laughs> um, this piece is about how uh, we, we oftentimes cheapen each other um, because we don't realize uh, how much people are worth. Um, and uh, I don't know if you know, but you need to know that you have infinite worth. Um, mm. Cheapening someone, uh, not paying attention to somebody, the logical conclusion of that is like slavery. Mm, yeah. So this is, a, this is a piece called Significant Other. Mm. It's significant, comma, other, as in wow. are we significant or are we other? Authorship is interesting. Like, like think of all the moments where uh, you find yourself in awkwardly close quarters with strangers. Yeah. There are prequels to these meetings, though. Stories that don't involve you. Maybe an epic you'll never get the chance to stand in awe of. And that's kind of tragic. Now think of those awkward moments where you accidentally lock gazes with that stranger. Yeah, real awkward. <laughs> gazes intersect. Eye lines intersecting, forming angles too awkward to measure in degrees, undesirable like your geometry homework, but wait, let me explain. Those moments are pen strokes. And whether those pen strokes create a haiku or a novel, bus rides with strangers are actually impromptu writing sessions. Readership is dropping. We live in a world full of classics, paperbacks, and hardcovers. And the malady of apathy has got me. Or I guess you could say it this way. My lady apathy, she gets me. She knows that I prefer smartphones to the wisdom of literature and that instead of turning pages, I prefer to tap and swipe because those motions are inconsequential and light, but it wasn't the LED blinking that notified me of, my, of how much difficulty I have getting through a mere plot synopsis. No, it was, it was the look on my fellow man's eye, my fellow man's face as he, as he looked at me and, and tried to get me to pay attention to him for like two seconds. And I said, I'm sorry. But more than 140 characters is just too much in one sitting. And I only understand monosyllabics like tweet, post, and like, like, please, you don't have to share your story with me, it's cool. <laughs> live and let live. I guess peaceful coexistence is in fact microwave safe. So they say, according to the people who drive around with the secret to world peace affixed to the bumpers of their cars. I'm sorry. <laughs> to any of you who happen to drive a vehicle with the secret to world peace affixed to your car bumper, I didn't realize it was that easy. Or maybe you didn't realize that pithy man-made statements masquerading as existential questions answers are really just band-aids on cancer. Wow. Live and let live. Rewind. Yeah. Rewind. Rewind. <laughs> or maybe you didn't realize that pithy man-made statements masquerading as existential questions answers are really just band-aids on cancer. Live and let live. Our let living, it cheapens each other. And you can deny it, but the paper skeletons of the receipts that you stuff inside the closet of your car, DIAC glove box say otherwise. Human rights crusader. The sympathy that makes you a proponent of human progress is just a gun loaded with blanks when you reject the homeless. Drop the act. All the third world is ashamed to be your stage. Pseudo anti. This is a mouthful. Pseudo anti sex trafficking activist. The physical distance <laughs> between you and the girl wearing nothing but 720p resolution has tricked you into thinking that the leisurely activity of watching pornography 
and the horror of sex trafficking are hardly related when in fact they are closer together than the two sides of the same coin used to buy the girl like the one that you are feasting your eyes on. Wow. Wow. Pull yourself away from the book of mobile faces and like the stationary one right in front of you. and hope for a rousing ending to the epics that might be taking place beneath the murk of anonymity of the strangers that pass you by on the sidewalk. Say thank you for the discomfort of public transit. That's a chance to appreciate true artwork. It is my hope that readership increases. Thank you.